Hey guys, it's Brandon 302 and today guys we are back with another video. So in today's video we are going to be um making a kick brick. So if you don't know what I mean by that, um say let's just place a random part down as you can see this random part here. Um say we we don't want this area our map so we don't want anyone going in this area here as you can see so all you have to do so actually before I go into this so as you can see we got this kick brick here not really a brick yet a kick brick but so if you walk into this it would kick you from the game so, how you do this, you may ask, I will show you. So, first, what you want to do, you want to get whatever your part is. It can be anything. Um, it just has to be a part. So, say if you have, like, a a model. Um, wait. There, say if you have a model, um, you have to in, indiv individually um, make every part. So, you have to add a script to every single part. So, what you want to do in this script, this is very simple. All you have to do is you gotta type. I will leave this in the description. You have to type script dot uh oops. Alright, script dot parent dot touched. As you can see, script dot parent touched colon connect. Now, you want to make it function, function when somebody hits it. As you can see, very simple like that. You can get rid of that right there. Then, another line down, local player equal game dot players. I will tell you what, um, all these lines do in a second so you want to get player from uh, character get player from character then hit dot parent and now um so this is actually checking if the player hit it so if the player touched it so if they hit it, it will function. So it will function this script below. And it will find the local player that hit the brick. So whatever this is. Then we'll go one line down. And if if it made sure they hit it, this will kick them. So player kick. Done. Now, um, oh, what? Oh, yeah, you have to add a reason. So, you can do any reason. You don't if you just don't want to see it, say anything, just you have been kicked from the game, just do that. Um but if you do want to say something, go like this. And let's say they've been kicked for glitching or yeah, something like that. They've been kicked for glitching. So like this. Um so, let's go out of it. Let's anchor it, because, you know, we need it anchored. Um, let's make it transparency 1, so it's not visible. And you want to make sure can collide is on, so um, it can actually see that the person hit it. So, now if we press play, as you can see, we go into the game. As you can see, we're here, normal. But if we go over into the forbidden area, where we're not supposed to be, it should kick. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can. This does only work um, in the actual game. It does not work in Roblox Studio. And also, um, you will need API servers on. So... 
that is how you make a kick script. I know I couldn't show you how it works because I actually have to publish this game. But trust me, it works on literally every single game I made. I made it on one of my other games, like coin I made it on Coin Simulator and another one one of my games I had a little statue thingy. People were trying to glitch in. Um so I uh, yeah, I put it in the statue parts. So it's very easy to do this stuff. As you can see, all you have to do, just, oh, what? Okay, just make a part or whatever you're using, add a script into it, and then get this script here. So, yeah, that is how you make a kick brick. So it kicks you from the game, and that will be the end of it. That will be the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. If you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button. So you know what? I'll just name this Kick Brick. Kick Brick. And that's the end of the video. So thank you all for watching.